every single one of us knows at least that one person that really, really aspires to be in the industry, specifically the music industry. And maybe that person is you. And on this video, I'm going to beg you to please don't aspire to be in the music industry. But before we get into that, hello, my name is Ruslan. I am a hip hop artist, full-time entrepreneur, and this channel exists to encourage, inspire, empower other creative entrepreneurs to go further in your creative ventures. Now, I haven't been doing these a whole lot, and that's because I've been traveling, I've been doing a ton of shows, I've been dropping the weekly videos that you can check out, and I'm gearing up to make a mixtape announcement very soon, but usually these drop on Monday, but I just felt inspired, the new Jay-Z album came out, and I said, man, let me, let me drop one of these and hopefully add some value and give you guys a little bit of insight into what the music industry is really about and really like. So, so basically with the advancement of technology, music has gotten easier and cheaper to make. And what that means is the easier it is to make music, the more music is gonna get made, the more people are going to aspire to be musicians, which is really gonna make everything kind of oversaturated in a way. And so now the music industry, and when I refer to the music industry, I'm talking the, the top of the food chain, the major label system. What they're looking for isn't necessarily the best music. What they're looking for is good music, packaged well that's already selling and has some momentum behind it. And so one of the things that you'll notice trying to get into the music industry is that it's not as much about music as it was say maybe 10, 15, 20 years ago. It's about somebody's brand and somebody's aesthetic and a lot of variables that some of us just don't really control about ourselves as creatives. And so the very easiest way I can describe the dynamic of the music industry is like combining the popularity contest of high school mixed with politicians sliced in with a little bit of diva like hollywood bravado all in one community of people but when here's the deal the people the gatekeepers of the music industry aren't bad people this is more of a systemic issue in terms of where the music is right now the climate of things and if you're paying attention with streaming and by the way did you know that not one single streaming company is actually profitable spotify apple music they're all bleeding money through their eyes and ears because they're not profitable yet and so the biggest influencers in music that have been around for 20 30, 40 years are actually leaving the music industry because it's a very bizarre time. Again, with the oversaturation of music, with streaming taking over, with sales being down, what you're experiencing is guys like Jimmy Iovine, guys like Steve Stout, guys like Dr. Dre, uh, Russell Simmons. A lot of these guys have left the music industry and have done other ventures. Even a guy like Lyra Cohen has left and then came back. And so they're not really in the music industry anymore because they've seen how weird it is, how tough it is, how the scene has changed how it's not so much about the music and making great timeless music anymore. It's again more like a popularity contest and politics and Hollywood branding and all these different things and so that's that's just foundationally what you got to understand about what climate we're in and oftentimes what happens in the music industry is that there's really two tiers right there's a feast or famine. There's the top of the top, people that are making it, and there's the people that are at the very bottom. Some of these people at the very bottom may even be on major labels, but they ran through their advance, they don't have any money left, their, their album isn't out yet, they're not touring, and you really have just two tiers, and you got the people at the top, and you got the people at the bottom, and the bottom are trying to get to the top, and there's no real middle class of musicians, and so it's a very rough, area to be in if you're trying to aspire for that. And because the music industry isn't necessarily about who's the most talented, who's the most technically gifted, I'd say the majority of your favorite mainstream artists are probably grossly overrated in comparison to some of the stuff that's bubbling on platforms like SoundCloud and just independently taking off. And so I, I kind of get annoyed with people that just ride the coattails of somebody that they perceive to be on simply because they're in the music industry. Because if you're comparing and you really got your ear to the street, there's so many talented people out here better than ever before, I would say in the ability and the technical execution of music, but so few of them are ever getting a platform because again, the music industry is just a very weird 
dynamic of people. So those are some of the reasons I, I'm encouraging you guys, man, avoid the music industry. Don't even think about the music industry. And here's some things I would be focused on, and, and I am focused on, and I would be aspiring to build a business, to make great music, to leverage technology so you can become your own media company. I would aspire to continue learning about your own brand and your own aesthetic and what works for you musically and outside of the music. And that way, when and if the music industry comes to you, which is really what you want. You want the industry to come to you. You don't want to be thirsty and try to go after the industry. What I'm saying is build a business, an independent business where you're self-sustainable so that when and if the music industry comes to you, you have the infrastructure created to take advantage and really get to that next level. A practical example I could think of right now is there's an artist named Kyle, who I've been a fan of for a number of years. Kyle right now has the I Spy song with Little Yachty. The song's huge, it's all over the radio. And the interesting thing to me about uh, Kyle, he's actually been releasing music for five, six, seven years. And so now as he's starting to take off and he's really getting the next tier of cutting through on a mainstream level, he has the touring infrastructure set up. He has a great back catalog of music that if you search a Kyle or uh, another example is a Russ, you can go back and they have hundreds of songs, tons and tons of infrastructure, already hundreds of thousands of plays. And there's already a machine built around him that's scalable to keep it growing and making it bigger as he desires to grow and become a pop artist. That's what I would aspire to do. Build a legitimate business for yourself as an independent musician, build the infrastructure, put in the work and don't just desire to be in the industry because you want to be some overnight success you want to be some one hit wonder because that seldom if ever ends well so hopefully that added some value and gave you some perspective in terms of what the music industry is like and why you really shouldn't even be focused on it you should be focused on making good music you should be focused on learning how to grow and build a business you should be focused on paying attention and having self-awareness about who you are and awareness about where you want to go and i know some of this is is, is more philosophical so I'm gonna do another video on Monday and I'm basically gonna tackle the issue if I were a brand new artist with little to no following, what would I be doing now to grow my audience and ultimately do all these things we talked about on this video. So do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. Let me know, are you internally wrestling with this idea of the industry and trying to get on or are you sincerely focused on making the very best music you can make? Leave me that in the comment section below. I read all the comments. I do my best to get in and engage with all you guys. And also stay tuned, another video dropping on Monday. Share this video. I know you have somebody in your life that needs this information. I. I I, I could put money on it. There's somebody that's trying to get on in the music industry and you're trying to deter them and be like, no, you're way more talented. Listen, go build your own thing before you get taken advantage of. So leave a comment below, like this video, share this video, subscribe. And if you want to know more about my next project that's coming out, be sure to hit me on my super phone. I'm gonna put that in the description below. I'm announcing a mixtape very soon. I'm super excited about it and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So hit me up on a super phone. Thank you guys for watching this. Peace.